Hi everyone! Okay, as you can probably see, I've already started this page. It had a layer of gesso on it, and uh, just some leftover, I think, pink dilutions, and um, that's some modeling paste with Distress Ink in it. And um, I just took that, I want to say it's Halo Pink Gold uh, by Lumiere paint, and watered it down a little bit, and made a wash on the page. Now I'm taking a chevron stencil that I cut, hand cut, and that tidy swap uh, color shine in teal. Did it right over the top. Those color shines are good. They're um, they're not too opaque, so you can layer with them. And uh, see, I got some some pretty cool colors on there. So yeah, that was awesome. So I am using a Studio G ink pad. It's just a little tiny white ink pad from Michaels. It was, I think, a dollar. And I wanted to test it out and see if I liked it. And I actually really do like it. It's nice to not have to ink up my uh, stays on every time. And I'm using my Fisker stamp press for that. And that stamp is a Viva Las Vegas stamp. So I think this is the Pearlescent Magenta, also by Lumiere. These little bottles are tiny because I got an exciter pack. So uh, that was Fluid Acrylic by Utrecht. It's the uh, Blick brand. So, um, okay, so I just added some of that Fluid Acrylic. I think maybe a little bit of water. Maybe I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. And I'm just splattering this pink on. And now I'm doing the same thing, but with white. And as you can see, white goes everywhere. Seriously, when you spatter things, OMG, it just it goes everywhere. So that background is pretty much done. Um, so I took this little stamp. This is also a Viva Las Vegas stamp. And um, I think it's called Moth Lady is the name of the stamp. But it's, uh, she's not a moth. She's quite obviously a butterfly. I don't know. So I stamped it in archival ink on just a random scrap of tissue that I had and grabbed my wife's colored pencils and just started coloring. I think this is one of the longest parts of the whole video. I hate coloring. I hate it. I lo I like paint and getting messy and but when whenever I I don't own a single Copic um not a single spectrum noir as you can tell I had to borrow Jen's colored pencils I just I I don't find it therapeutic I don't find it relaxing I find it tedious um I'm just impatient impatient imperfect impulses that should have been me so um yeah that's probably why this took so long I was probably like oh I don't want to do it Actually, it was because half of the colored pencils were broken because my kid got to them. So I had to keep sharpening them. And um, I found that uh, the tissue paper worked really, really well for this technique. I wanted to stamp on the background, um, but obviously the, the page is so textured with that modeling paste that I had used up from another project that, uh, yeah, that was not an option. So I was like, well, I have to think of a way to to do this and I, I don't know why I never think of using tissue paper and then stamping on top of it um, and then gluing it I don't know why I don't ever think of that because I've seen it done a thousand times and it always looks great when it's done I just am a dork I guess so again just coloring god that's tedious should have sped that up a bit sorry more coloring. So I've cut this lady out before and oh, speaking of tedious, that was also tedious. And I even cut out her little antenna and everything and I was like, yeah, that's not happening. So I just tore it. I find that when you do this technique with stamping on tissue paper and then gluing it down, um, Serena B taught me this one. It you get better results if the edges are jagged versus having them be straight. So I always tear the the edges. It helps it just kind of fade into the background. So as you can see, I had way too much fluid matte medium, so I put it onto an iCAD. Figured it would seal that iCAD, and now I can do all kinds of stuff with that. So at least I'm using it up and gluing down those little pieces of tissue. 
I never waste anything. Well, that's not true. I waste very little. I'll say that much. So now, of course, my obligatory hexagons, because love it. And that was just with archival ink. And I'm I'm getting pretty brave here with my handwriting lately. I've been just writing on everything, so and I find that my handwriting either either it's getting better or I'm starting to accept my handwriting more. So but as you'll notice I've been working on holding my, my pen correctly. So I'm not doing the claw thing. It would it forces me to slow down. And so what you saw just there was um my kid shoving stuff in my face because whenever I start writing he wants to come up and like jump on my right arm like dude dad needs help with his writing already I don't need you jumping on me so but he does so I find that weighting my letters like this adding you know some some weighting on one side it also helps it makes it look more calligraphy-ish so a bunch of these videos are old. I've I, I'm sitting here trying to get a bunch of them edited, and um, so you know they'll probably trickle out once a week, um, or maybe more if you're if you're nice. Um, and uh, so I did a bunch of I did a whole bunch of them in about a week, and then I didn't touch them for about two and a half weeks because I had family in town. So um, yeah, family for two and a half weeks, and I had a great time. I was sad to see them go, but I was glad to have things kind of back to normal, but now now that things have been back to normal, and I'm kind of missing them again. So, you know, the whole thing. You're just never happy. That's me. So I'm adding white with a Uniball Signo white pen, and um, this is still, of every white pen I've ever used, my favorite. And I got this from my friend Elizabeth. Love her. Thank you, Elizabeth. I think of her every time because I put that washi tape at the top, so it made me remember that she was she got that one for me. So it wasn't just another art supply in my stash. And I think last but not least, I just took a... This is the stays-on pad I was complaining about earlier, and I just went around the edges. I wanted something really permanent on the edges because you never know... If, you know, the edges are going to get wet or whatnot. So there is the page. The colors are not really typical for me. I, yeah, there's pink and teal and purple in there, but they're more uh, muted. They're more pastel-y. Um, so I thought it was kind of cool. Not my not my typical uh, page. So I hope you guys liked it. Uh, feel free to check me out on Facebook, Imperfect Impulses with Aaron. You can find me on Instagram, I'm Imperfect Impulses. Pretty much just look for Imperfect Impulses. I'll see you guys soon. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>